Some say the voices of our young people are the voices of our future, and one Hanover County Girl Scout is using hers to advocate for reading only to face controversy. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Deanna Albritton. And I'm Heather Hope, in for Eric Phillips. This all happening at a recent Hanover Board of Supervisors meeting where four Girl Scouts were honored for receiving their gold award, the highest achievement within the organization. 8 News reporter Sarah Krug joining us live in our studio now with more on what that Girl Scout is calling censorship, Sierra. Well, Heather, Caitlin Lee is a Girl Scout in Hanover County, and she's been a vocal advocate for students free access to literature, actively opposing the school board's decision to ban more than 91 books from school libraries. After being honored on Wednesday, the senior student took to the podium thanking the board for their quote censorship of her gold award. She says the summary of her work commended at the meeting did not match the description she submitted. Leaders of tomorrow, outstanding young women. Words applauding four Girl Scouts of Troop 789 Wednesday night at a Hanover County Board of Supervisors meeting. The young women earned their gold awards, the highest achievement in the organization. The girls respect authority, but correctly do not blindly follow it. One of the recipient's faces says it all. as She received her commendation from Board Chair Susan Dibble. Senior Kate Lindley has made waves across the school board. Her gold award project actively challenging the board's decision to ban more than 91 books from school libraries. Thank you for this recognition. I will now read my original description. She says her version of a self-submitted Gold Award Project summary didn't match what was read out loud. You have bestowed upon me the greatest honor you could, greater than that of any proclamation in your censorship of my Gold Award project. Her summary detailed her creation of banned book nooks, which allow kids across the community access to pieces of literature the school board removed from school shelves. Her work also involved the coding of a free-to-read app, educating users about banned books and where to find them. The board chose to leave out the word banned and limited describing pieces of her project, effectively, in Lindley's words, censoring her award. You have shown the world that you are afraid to call something what it is be that a banned book or a deselected one. Other community members, including troop leaders and former Girl Scouts, spoke out in support. The only difference between the Girl Scouts of my grandmother's generation and the Girl Scouts of my daughter's generation, Girl Scouts is willing to change. Hanover County apparently is not outside of what we're teaching in Girl Scouts. One board member reiterated his belief that certain content doesn't belong in schools, regardless of public pushback. Not educational. That is not appropriate to be in taxpayer-funded libraries. But Lindley says she's still empowered and not done fighting against book bans. Things need to change in Hanover County to reverse the tide of book bans. Our school board banned books because of a fundamental ignorance of the importance of celebrating diverse perspectives. A vocal audience cheered Lindley on throughout the meeting. Lindley's book nooks remain up and running. Head to WRIC.com for more on where to find them. Heather.